Alright, well, new patch. Let's check out the freaking build I just made. <laughs> so I made a 4th of July build, and in, the, not, in less than a day, everything was nerfed. My circuits are nerfed. Yeah, we lost the physical from circuit. Discus bugged was nerfed. Um, Sparks was nerfed. So we're going to test against Rodan and see how much damage we can do with, uh, with Sparks now. Oh, we got the cutscene. Rodan was a nerf. Let's see. The damage. Holy crap. It's dead. Sparks is dead. Nice. GG. Sparks is absolutely dead. <laughs> uh, what if you aim it normally? Uh, 2500? Ow, ow. Ow. Yeah. 2500. No. Oh. Sparks is officially dead. And apparently that was a bug. Uh, G9 was right. Cirque got fixed. I guess all the other Smith script weapons when they had. Uh, Sacred Infusion or Flame Art Infusion, that we get extra 200 physical and thus have a higher AR. Uh, where's my AR now? Now, yeah, it's more even compared to, uh, I mean, it's still higher than backhand blades, but yeah, um, that's fixed as well. So lost damage there. They're just normal weapons now, not really that, many, that, that fantastic. Daggers got buffed. Um, apparently their range got fixed. So they're a little further. Oh, they are further, yeah. Cool. That's good. That's a good buff. It kind of sucked because they were so short. Um, I guess we still got scatter shot throw on the build. The most broken faith build. Literally broken and thus they fixed it. They had a nice job uh, from software. Um, Smith's grip shield was fixed before if you buffed your right hand weapon with, you know, something like roll a nice resolve or people were doing the death bike glitch with um, that one shuttle, eclipse shuttle. Now that is also fixed. I'm sure there's still a probably decent weapon still besides that. That didn't really use the bug for that, but yeah. Now you won't be able to do the death like with that, so that's a good fix. Um, they also fixed Fire Knight's Greatsword, which is a, another one. Not really for, I don't know about PvE actually. Where is it? Right here. Um, in PvP, you were able to true combo with R1, R1. So exactly like Dark Souls 3 days. Where if you hit him one time, you and I guarantee the second hit. That was also patched. Um, I guess that's a good fix, but it's a lot less appealing weapon now. But I guess it's still it's still got the God Slayer moveset, so I'm sure people use it. Um, what what was also fixed was the thrusting shields, where they had an unintended bug where you would have do I have any? Oh, yeah, I don't have any stats to equip them. But um, if you hold block and press R1. It's like a, it's technically like a shield poke with a, like a shield on left hand and then like a spear in the right hand. But before you would be able to not consume stamina when you, while attacking. So you'd be blocking a hit and attacking and you'd only take like a little bit of stamina damage instead of actually taking the full brunt of the attack. So that is also patched now. So these are a lot less uh, strong, probably still solid, but they don't get max fizz and etc. So I don't know. Maybe not even worth using over just standard shield poke. The best build right now is this guy right here. Gold's armor, <laughs> fingerprint shield, and then the right hand weapon. And that's gonna be your one ticket to kill Rodan. Aside from that, I don't know. I don't know what build's gonna be able to kill Rodan easily. And here are the rest of the notes. Swift Slash was nerfed, so that's good news. Less damage and the animation, I guess, was decreased. So you probably get caught less in it. Get hit by the first attack. And they also increase the intelligence scaling of the carrion sorcery sword while decreasing the base damage is that a nerf buff i don't know i haven't used it so <laughs> and they increase the throwing weapon range as i said smith Grip dagger and the cirque cirque's r2s you'll be able to toss them out and that got range buff makes it but that cause lightning perfume bottle and frenzy perfume bottle weapons to deal double damage <laughs> under certain conditions oh maybe that's why we deal high damage with them um, and then the arcane scaling for the blood fiend arm nerf, so it's le less bleed. Oh, status builder of heavy attack was also reduced. Ah, uh, maybe it takes like three heavy attacks to stun now. Interesting. So maybe blood fiend's arm got hit really hard too. 
Fix the bug where the face scaling of the gazing finger weapon was not applied correctly. Fix the bug with the damage animation of some attacks. Yep, the Fire Knight's Greatsword. Um, fix the bug with the attack affinity of some attacks of the Fire Knight Greatsword were different than expected. So probably a nerf. And then obviously all the Smith script stuff. Golem Fist was nerfed too? No, Golem Fist. I was gonna make a rocket punch build. Fix the bug that caused some NPCs to behave differently than expected. So broken AI, nice. Maybe mimic and other uh, summons don't just stand around. And yeah, that is patch 1.12.3. So pretty much all nerfs. Kind of sad that it's only to us and not to Redan. But yeah, that means the best build for Redan is a shield build with a pokey stick. That's going to be your best ticket to beating the final boss of the game. Cannot use sparks. I guess technically the thorns build is still online. This doesn't hit the thorn spell build, so maybe that's a build we could do next. The blood thorn spell. Hmm. So yeah, um, my 4th of July build, my faith build, is now in the garbage. <laughs> probably don't do it. It's probably not going to work. So yeah, I, I was way too late on that, but I didn't expect to patch the very next, not even 24 hours. Happy 4th of July, guys. Hope you guys enjoy your day off. Uh, maybe take a break from Elden Ring until <laughs> Dan is nerfed. But <clears throat> yeah, that's a patch note, guys. Uh, have fun. Bye bye. Where's Mug in all of this? I miss my old Nahil, Nahil, Nahil.